today's tip, I wanted to talk about finding your voice, claiming your voice, and celebrating it. And my first book, Summer of the Big Bachi, took me 15 years to produce. And part of that, I think, was to really discover my voice. And so, number one, it's it may take you a little while and it's going to require actively writing to and by finding it i think it's when you're in that groove when you're not forcing anything and the words and the scenes just come out so organically i think that's a sign that you're finding your voice now number two claiming your voice um i don't have any children but i liken it your voice as a child and I, I see some people saying, well, I want my child to be a doctor. I want my child to be a lawyer. But you know what? Maybe that's not who your child is. And I think that's kind of our writing voice as well. We could look at people that we really admire and try to emulate them. But you know, we might not be that kind of writer. So whether it's humor or maybe you're really good at action, whatever it is, just claim it. I know for myself, I love like rich description, physical description, but I'm not that type of writer. You know, I tend to write very emotionally in, in simple language, but you know, I've come to see that's a gift. And so I need to claim it. And that's part of the celebration. And I think when you have a sense of what your voice is, there's no room to be jealous or envious of someone else's voice um, that you could celebrate your own but also celebrate other people's. So it's a really great place to be. So just remember to find it, to claim it, as well as to celebrate it. Happy writing.